secular activist Raif Badawi banned from leaving Saudi Arabia for 10 years. So this is an update following Raif's recent um, release from prison. On March 12th, Saudi Arabia, uh, the Saudi Arabian court confirmed a 10-year travel ban for the human rights activist and blogger Raif Badawi. Badawi was arrested in 2012 and jailed for 10 years for charges of quote-unquote insulting Islam. He was also known for his bravery in openly criticizing religious institutions in Saudi Arabia, accusing them of confining the people in, quote, a circle of faith and fear. He was re released from prison after 10 years on March 11th. A Saudi ministry official explained that the travel ban is an extension of Badawi's sentence and will not be list lifted, quote, unless a royal pardon is issued. Amnesty International declared that they will, quote, actively work to have any conditions lifted. Rife's wife and children are currently residing in Canada and eagerly waiting to be reunited. The province of Quebec has put Badawi on a, quote, priority list of potential immigrants for humanitarian reasons. On top of a 10-year travel ban, Badawi was also fined 1 million Saudi rials, which is over a quarter of a million USD. A GoFundMe campaign has been set up to help cover the cost of the penalty fine and to bring Badawi and his family closer to, quote, live together again in freedom and safety. Um, yeah, I mean, they can use his travel ban as another negotiating tactic for getting something else, I guess, maybe from Canada or something. Um, but yeah, so he's he's still not free. He can't. He, he's not going to be able to see his family until the travel ban is re removed, right? Presumably, I I mean, I was thinking, and this is just my own speculation. I'm I want to be clear. This is not me hearing this from anywhere. Like maybe theoretically, they could meet somewhere at a border, hmm. but that seems extremely dangerous for his family. Okay, so here's the fundraiser. Do we have a link mm -hmm. to that in the description? Yes. So let me put it in um, live chat right now. So trying to fundraise, the, the purpose of this is try to get him the travel ban lifted, right? Like this is her children. This is like when when he was with his children, like a long time ago. How long has it been? He's been in prison for 10 years. 10 years. So if we don't get the travel ban, so now the kids are like a lot older. So this man has been away from his wife and children simply because he decided to write about liberal values and secularism. Like he didn't do anything. Like he's been 10 years away from his children in jail, also received lashes um, just because he was like, hey, liberalism, good, you know, mm, uh, you know, Muhammad, not that holy, maybe. OK, um, secularism, good. 10 years for that. Just like blogging okay and now if we don't get this travel ban removed he might have to watch his kids join or uh, uh, grow from a distance for another 10 years like 20 years away from his children because he's technically not he... out of jail T wait let me finish he's technically not out of jail he just moved from a smaller cell to a bigger cell which is saudi arabia mm -hmm. right like mm -hmm. he kind of by the way i always it's so annoying to to know that the family and everybody else still has to do some ass kicking for the royal family. Like the people that did this to this man and his family because they could still screw him over because he's still in Saudi Arabia. We still have to, they still have to pretend like, okay, thank you so much, the royal. Like the, these monsters, you still have to kiss their ass. You still have to be very respectful and be grateful that he's out of jail just so that they don't put him back in jail. This is like such a disgusting situation, right? Um, and also, um, I want to point to, out that, like, this is he, this man just did what we're doing, right? Like this, that's his crime, and and also another thing, um, and the most important thing I wanted to point out. I'm glad I remember. Uh, this man received less lashes than he would he was uh, sentenced to because of online petitions, right? And hashtag and Twitter activism. Okay, so don't like. With the people who tell you that sharing these news and talking about it or signing petitions or trending hashtags, they don't have an influence. Just remember that this man was supposed to receive how many lashes? I think a thousand lashes. One thousand. I, I think he only 1, received 25. Yeah, because of the international pressure. OK, so these things work. And for that reason, this these fundraisers, we OK, so this fundraiser is by Insaf Muhammad her, herself. Right. So by the wife. So it can, 
I think that means that it could be trusted. Wow, look at yes. this. Somebody doing the description $2. says that the money will go into a trust in the name of NSAF and Rife. Okay, good. So it can be trusted that this is not going to be wasted and everything. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. So I would encourage everyone, uh, if you are able or if you feel willing, to go to GoFundMe and search for the campaign called Solidarity with Rife Badawi and his family. And there's more information about the campaign on that page and what the money will be used for. If you don't want to contribute via GoFundMe, they also provide other ways that you can donate. There's um, a different service called like better place or something and or you could um send money directly to their bank accounts and there's information to do that as well um i would and, and i read something online that makes it see i wasn't able to verify this that if he's not able to pay the fine he might have to go back into some form of imprisonment or detention so right now they've raised um a, a little over twenty five thousand dollars usd so they still have a long ways to go um and Ghost Bunny is saying he may be out of prison, but he still isn't free. Saudi Arabia wants to make sure that they have control over him and also control over his family and the other people who speak out against them. Because now that he's out of prison, everyone involved in his case has to walk on eggshells about how they talk about the Saudi regime because they can just snatch him back as soon as they want. Um, so it's very precarious. Um, and oh d is correcting us and saying he received 50 lashes um and there was another comment that i wanted to read oh yeah imran is saying this guy is an effing hero yes i completely agree um one thing that was i realized just now that's crazy is that if he completes the 10-year travel ban his children will be as old as he was when he was arrested when they can finally see each other again God damn. No. Yeah, wow. and Dia is saying he continues to be held as an example. Exactly. Yeah, it's really like this is what can happen to you if you're not careful. Um, and Bread of Life is saying, thank you for bringing attention to this. Well, yes. Now I want to highlight news about Rafe as much as possible because now that he's out of prison, um, it's really he's released. This is an opportunity for a real revitalization of the campaign for his freedom. And so we really need to seize this opportunity to raise awareness and increase pressure to get him out of the country. So I hope other people also take up, you know, this call to action to really get the message out there. And Ghost Bunny is saying they're using him as a pawn instead of a human. Yes. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe, link in the description below.